Okay, I got a request of how do we express things in A plus BI format when they are written as, and let's do an example, one plus I over negative four minus two I. The trick with this problem is we need to realize the denominator. Okay, we want to get rid of this I here. We need to get rid of it. Well, how are we going to get rid of an I in the denominator? If I multiply both top and bottom by I, it's not actually going to get rid of it because we'll gain an I on the negative 4. So that won't help. So we have to multiply both top and bottom by what's called the conjugate, which is a fancy name for having the opposite sign in the middle. Okay. Um, this is going to exploit our technique of difference of squares. If you remember when we studied factoring, we did difference of squares. And also, if you remember, we didn't have any cross terms with that. Okay. Now, with this, just, just so it's clear, I'm actually multiplying it by 1. I have something over itself. Now, this is a binomial over itself, which is still 1. So I'm not just multiplying by any random number to make this work. I'm actually just multiplying it by 1. So this will change its form, but not its actual value. OK, let's take a look and see what happens. So it will be 1 times negative 4 and 1 times 2i. So I have negative 4 plus 2i. And then I have i times negative 4, so negative 4i, and i times 2i. So plus 2i squared. All right, what happens with the denominator? Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And we have the i there. Negative 2 times negative 4 plus 8. So that's plus 8i. And then negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And then we have i squared. Now remember, i squared is negative 1. Okay, we have to remember that. That was something that was introduced in our section here. So with that information, that means this i squared and this i squared are both going to become negative 1. All right? And then we can also simplify some terms. So let's see what we get. Um, let's see. I can combine these to negative 4. So this is negative 2. 2i. This will become a negative 1, so I have 2 times negative 1, so I have negative 4 minus 2. These, negative 8, positive 8, equal and opposite, so they cancel. i squared is a negative 1, so this becomes a positive 4, 16 plus 4. All right. What happens? Negative 4 minus 2 equals negative 6 minus 2i, 16 plus 4 makes 20. All right, almost done. I'm going to simplify just a little bit more. Looks like I can um, factor out a at least a 2 there. So I'm going to factor out a 2, which leaves me with negative 3 minus i over 20. I can cancel the 20 there, and it reduces to 10. So this is going to leave me negative 3 tenths minus 1 tenth i, okay? So I hope that that helps. I hope that that's clear. And let me know if you have any further questions.